والنبي صلى الله عليه وسلم in two authentic ahadith he summarizes the purpose of life النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم he says in the first hadith he says ما جلس قوم مجلسا لم يذكر الله تعالى فيه إلا كان عليه امترة وما مشى أحد ممشا لم يذكر الله تعالى فيه إلا كان عليه ترة وما أوى أحد إلى فراشه ولم يذكر الله تعالى فيه إلا كان عليه ترة رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم he says in this hadith three statements number one he says that there is not a group that gather that they sit a kind of gathering any gathering socializing a meeting whatever it is and they do not make mention of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in their gathering except that this gathering would be a worry and a regret for them on the day of judgment tirah also means yus'aluna anhu yawm al-qiyamah that they are questioned about this gathering on the day of judgment then rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said wama masha ahadun mamshan and there is not a single person that walks you take a walk down the road, you go to your work, you're on the train, you're on the bus, whatever it is, the situation is you left your house and you did not make dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala illa kana alayhi tirah except that that becomes a moment of worry and regret for him on the day of judgment and he's questioned about it on the day of judgment. And then the final part of the hadith that there is not a single person that came to his sleep and he slept and he did not make mention of Allah. Allah wasn't the last thing on his heart and on his mind before he slept, except that that sleep becomes a worry and a regret for him on the day of judgment. And he's questioned about it. Allahu Akbar. Yani the purpose of life is dhikrullah. When Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says in the hadith, ما من ساعة تمر بابن آدم لا يذكر الله تعالى فيه that there is not a single hour that passes by the son of Adam. And to imagine we're speaking about an hour. Imagine a whole 10 days went by. We imagine a whole year goes by in your life. And Nabi Wasallam is telling us to ponder over the hour that goes by. And you did not make mention of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala within this hour. Except that he regrets it on the day of judgment. It becomes a reason for his worry and it becomes a reason for his sadness on the day of judgment. A dhikr, my brothers in Islam, these two ahadith put together teaches us that there is not a moment in life except that you're in a gathering or you're walking to your work or you're going somewhere or that you're going to sleep or an hour passes by. These are your affairs. In either one of these is situations. When Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, if that hour, if that moment is not filled with the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it becomes a worry and a regret for a person on the day of judgment.